In Armenia, at least nine people now have died in clashes between police and opposition protesters. Outgoing President Robert Kocharian has imposed a state of emergency following 11 days of turmoil now. His decree bans mass gatherings and restricts news media to reporting only official information. Overnight violence left Yerevan's streets littered with burned vehicles. Riot police fired guns into the air. They also fired tear gas canisters to disperse thousands of protesters. The government is denying the use of excessive force, though. I'm telling you that the protesters who, as you said, have been holding uh, demonstrations now for 11 straight days were doing that. Today, the authorities uh, moved in because they thought that there were arms there, and it turned out to be right. There has been some violence on the streets. We're con uh, convinced that this will come to an end soon, and we are hoping that with the help of the international community, the opposition, the leader of the opposition, will come and enter a political dialogue rather than continuing this debate on the streets. The protesters accused the government of rigging last month's presidential election.